Hey guys, Henning and Morten from Flip Normals here. And today we're very excited to announce our latest product, which mm. is the Flip Normals Studio HDRIs. Yes. And these are 30, uh, more than 30 actually, um, high quality balanced HDRIs based on our lighting scenes. Mm. So they're not just your everyday run of the mill HDRIs in a studio where you have like a black background here and a white light here. These are actually the balanced ones that we've used from the lighting scene, but then distilled into HDRIs. Yeah, that, that's been one of, the, one of the key things here that we didn't just want to make some random lights and some like cityscape stuff, which, you know, might be useful for certain things here. But we just really wanted to make something which was super good. Mm. <laughs> so um, the lighting scene, we spent a lot of time on that. And um, in this one, we are we have just made HDRIs of them. Yeah, and it's super easy to like. Right now, we're showing it in a substance, but you can do it anywhere, really. Mm. Um, you can just uh, drag and drop the the HDRIs that you would like to play around with. Just see what kind of lights do you get from just playing with the intensity, and the rotation really does a lot as well. Yeah. Um, just to, for the look and the feel of of your of your object. So the cool thing is we have all the bespoke twenty base HDRIs from mm. the lighting scene as well. But then we've created variations of those. Like sometimes you might not want uh, a big blue bounce light anywhere in your scene. So that we've gone in and removed for some case. Like here you can see we have a lot of blue light, which adds a lot of nice fill light mm. to, to this helmet. But then maybe if we rotate it up here, we don't really want a crazy reflection of a blue light up here. Of course, it depends on the kind of object that you're, you're rendering as well. But it makes it really easy and really fast to not just preview your model, but also make production ready renders of it. I've been using the Flip Normals, I can say like personally for for like years just for my own stuff, just because I, I don't have time to do it properly with yeah. lights. <laughs> so you just chuck them in there and then you're ready to go. But this just makes it even easier. Crazy lens flares. Oh, so right um, <laughs> the cool thing about this, drag and drop them into any render engine, like all render engines like ever will support this and they have supported them for a long period of time, such as V-Ray here. Uh, you simply just make an HDRI light, you you just plug in the, the HDRI, in this case it's a dome light, you just plug in the HDRI and it's ready to go. So for this, for this example here, whether it was Ar Arnold or if it's in Redshift or it was using V-Ray, whatever it Modo. is. Yeah, everything's supported. Thing. So even if you're using mental ray, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I guess mental ray would support yeah. it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but so just as a quick example, just to show you how that will work in a render engine like this. So here we're going to be using the just the V-Ray IPR render, mm. um, just to get some really quick lighting, and it's the same same deal as um, if you're using substance. Then you go in, you can play with the resolution and the sampling of your HDRI. And maybe you wanted to rotate this one around or something to see if you can get a well, 900 degrees, <laughs> 90 degree rotation. And that immediately changes the feel of it. Yeah. And the nice thing about doing it in here, as well as when you were doing it in Substance, is it's really easy to quickly just test out new HDRIs and completely change the look and the feel of your scene and your character, your objects, or whatever's in the scene. And this is going to look pretty much identical to the results from the lighting scenes. So, like we have it available for just for our own use. I'm just going to be using this in the future. Yeah, because it's this is so much easier to set up, um, and render times are very comparable. Yeah. So here as well, I'm using GI to get some nice bounce light as well. You could supplement this with uh, additional lights. Yes. You know, so you use your HDRIs as just pure reflections in the beginning, and then jump over and create some actual lights to sort of refine the light setup a little a little better. Yeah. Yeah, what, like we said before, like one of the main things here compared to other other HR packs here, which might contain like 200 HRIs and all that, is they are balanced. Mm. They are made to look nice. Yeah. So you already have a huge advantage right there. A really cool thing if now we're back here in Substance is you could do this in Marmoset as well. Um, if you're just previewing this is all real time. So before mm. we we're using the iRay render. So this is actually in the viewport. Mm. And you can see even in the viewport, we get really nice uh, reflections. And it's yeah. it's really easy to, to figure out, okay, what is this gonna look like kind of and then as soon as we, we, you know, we turn on iRay again to see the real preview, you just get something that looks amazing. 
So the cool thing is that you can use this straight for your portfolio renders. Mm. A bunch of people are doing that. There's no reason to really take this out of substance ever, like into V-Ray to bake the shaders there. No. This is going to look just as good in Painter, maybe even better yeah. than it is in any, any other engine. And just real quick, if you uh, if you wanted to add um, a new HDRI, you can just drag it in. Mm. Say you want to pick it up as an environment, import it into your current session, and boom, it'll be there. Then you can search through and say FN HDRIs, and now all your HDRIs will be here. And then it's as easy in the viewport here to just drag and drop to create new lights and sort of preview other things. Yeah. So, you know. Uh, so I've been working as textures for quite some time now, and having HDRIs here like this is just really, really helpful for me because some of them are are very broad, and you can only focus on you can focus on color, really just developing the albedo channel here. Yeah. But other times as well, when you're making like a spec map, like a spec roughness map or the bump map, you just need like super high contrast, like essentially what we're looking at here, super high contrast stuff, and. Um, just something which just makes the, the spec and the bump just shine like crazy. Yeah, that's what we're getting here. So that's really nice, and it's I mean it's so easy to and fast to prototype with. Yeah, it's uh it's actually become more easy for me to use our HDRIs than it has using our lighting scene yeah. now. Huh. So our lighting scene is still great, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we still use it. I would like to point out that there they have there are different use cases for these two. It's not that one is better than the yeah. other. It depends on what you're using it for. The lighting scene is good if you want the overall customizability. Yes. You want to be able to change the color of your lights, the position, the individual position, and turn on and off specific lights. Whereas the HDRIs just make it really easy to quickly get a really nice lighting setup. And I think that about covers it for, for this product. So, you know, go test it out. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. And, and, and share uh, share the results with us. Please, please do that. We, we, we love to see what you guys make. We get super hyped when we show <laughs> that. Share in YouTube comments. Share on us on Twitter or Facebook. Mm. And, uh, yeah, we really hope this here is, is helpful for you. And you can make some super sexy renders. Definitely. Thank you.